So uh, you've deployed two or more virtual networks in Azure. Uh, you would generally create separate VNets to provide security and or management uh, boundaries. But what can happen sometimes is that you realise there are resources in one VNet that need to be accessed from the other one. So you need to provide some sort of connectivity between the two. First option is a VNet to VNet connection which is effectively just a VPN connection between the two virtual networks. So um, you'd need to create a gateway subnet in each virtual network, uh, deploy a VPN gateway in each of those gateway subnets, and then configure those gateways to communicate with, with each other, uh, and also then tell the gateways which subnet traffic to route across that link. Um, once it's set up, it's quite reliable. Um, you can choose from different VPN gateway devices with different throughputs, uh, the higher the throughput, obviously the, the higher the cost per month as well there. Um, another option uh, would be VNet peering, uh, which effectively provides connectivity between the two virtual networks across the Azure network infrastructure. Um, it's quite quick, secure, the traffic never leaves the, the software defined network in the region. The downside is that the VNet peering can only happen between VNets in the same region. Um, Microsoft have recently uh, provided global VNet peering uh, as generally available. Uh, it's currently available in 10 regions, um, so if you're not in one of those regions then you'll have to wait for it to be rolled out. Um, connecting the VNets together with the peering is um, much easier cheaper because there's just uh, small data costs per gig in and out rather than the VPN gateway costs as well. Um, you do need to be a little bit careful with the peering because the virtual networks that you connect do effectively appear as one super VNet if you like so you need to make good use of network security groups to secure the traffic in between the subnets um, but yeah definitely the better option.